Alright, some of my audience was asking me if I was going to do some Unity videos, and why not? Let's do some. <laughs> uh, this one's going to be on the Unity launcher. You can do some customization with it. Uh, so what you need is, let me see here, let's go to the software center. And you're going to need to search for CCSM. Install the first one, this advanced one here. Now after you have it, uh, we're going to bust that out, CCSM. And we're gonna filter out. Let me see. Unity. The word Unity. And we're gonna use this plugin. So this is the plugin where you do some customization with it. So I think I said last time they're using like IntelliHive. They're actually using Dodge. It's similar to IntelliHive, but I think there's a little bit of differences. I, I don't remember what it is exactly. I personally like Auto Hide. If you want to do like Auto Hide, they automatically hides it, right? That's what I like the most. But by default, they have Dodge. Now, if you don't know what dodge is, basically, if you full screen, it'll just hide itself, right? Similar to Intelli High. The other thing is, if you have single windows, and if you hover over or you pull a window over this thing, it'll go away here. Like, ah, get out of here, bitch. There you go. So that's what it does uh, for dodge uh, effect there. And it says the reveal mode here. It's basically a uh, high corner, or yeah, a high corner. That's basically what it is. So let's say if you want to, um, say for example, you do full screen, right? And you have to hover over the left side for it to show it again. If you don't want it to be at the left side, you can put the top corner here, the bottom corner, or any of these corner. All you gotta do is select the corner you want it to, you know, make it visible again. So I put it left, and whenever I hover over left, it'll come out again. So that's the hot corner thing they have. And these other ones are just hotkeys. So the super key is basically to open your, you know, your your dash here. Super key is your Windows keys if you're confused, right? But you can change it around if you like. Let's say I want to grab a combo, and I say uh, Control Alt Z or something. And now you can just change it, Control Alt Z. It's probably convenient for those people that you wanted to use uh, GNOME Do or something, and you don't want to interfere with your super key then you can do that right these other ones are basically the same stuff like the alt f2 is for to run your command to run dialog uh... so that's what uh... that's what it is with the hotkeys here and let's go to experimental this is basically all um, mostly effects here so let me give, show you here so by default they have these um, you know, like the blue thing in the background, my uh, chromium or this orange shit back here. This is where the backlit, the mode uh, effects that you can change. So by default, is on. If you want to toggle it, right, then uh, you see it, it'll lose some effects there, or it changes to a different effect. You want to turn it off completely, then uh, it has nothing in the backlit mode. But we'll bring it back to default. It's on. This other one is called the launch uh, animation. So that means when you open something, it'll do an effect. So if I launch something right here, this one is pretty subtle, but you can you can actually see if you pay attention. If I open this, it'll pulse it. It'll do a little, little effect right there. It's pretty too quick, but if you have Unity, then you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, you can change it to blink. This one you actually can see here. So if I open this, it'll, it'll blink like two or three times. One, two, three. There you go, right? So that's what it does for the effect. This urgent one I actually haven't seen yet, but uh, it'll wiggle probably your windows, or maybe this thing right here. I'm not sure, but I believe if you have like uh, your update manager or something like that, that's pretty urgent. Then it'll probably do the wiggle effect. I haven't actually seen it, so I don't really not sure what it is. Uh, other things is your panel, this top thing here, this bar up top here. You can actually lower the opacity. Ooh, sexy. So I'll bring it back to default though. Uh, launcher icons, basically, if you want to shrink this down, scale it down. All right, that's it. And this height animation, so I'll give you an example. By default, it says uh, fade and slide. So let me full screen is here so you see that it slides out and it slides back in and it fades right this one if you want it to fade only 
now just fade in and fade out it it won't do the slide so that's the animation for that but we'll put it back as default and this last one I really don't see any difference but it's for the dash and it says blur so by default it says no blur and I change it well let me show you the no blur right this is no blur so not really sure what animation is that right here I really don't see any difference blur or static blur it's the same shit anyways that's how you customize uh, the unity launcher with effects, hot corners, hot keys, uh, all up to you if you want to do that. Personally, for me, I'll say uh, use auto hide like this, uh, more convenient. That's it for this one.